I'm Dr. Shireen Shams and I consult at Private Therapy Clinic. I'm a counselling psychologist who offers psychological treatment to individuals, to couples, um, through Skype sessions, telephone sessions and of course face-to-face -face sessions. When somebody comes to see me, the first thing that we do is a so-called assessment session. And what this means is that we, we, I will ask a number of questions to begin to form an image of who you are as a person, what it is that brings you to counselling at this point in time, and how it is that the therapeutic support may be able to help you moving forward with life. So with someone with anxiety, for example, it could, the counselling could be around us understanding how long the anxiety has played a role in their life for how it manifests for this particular person and, and also what they imagine that life would be like without, this, without these difficulties. And because every single person is very, very different, we all have very subjective experiences and individual needs, I tend to really tailor my approach to the unique individuals that's sitting before me. And because of that, no therapeutic approach ever looks identical. But some people would prefer a more open-ended counselling contract where they can come in and explore bits and bobs about their childhood and significant life events and maybe how they might play a part in their life today. Other people would like a more shorter term, more focused therapeutic approach. Um, such as six sessions of cognitive behavioural therapy that's focused on a specific phobia, for example. And, and the two would be uh, quite different. In my opinion, what makes a good psychologist is an individual who is warm, compassionate, understanding and empathic. I think it's very important that as a clinician you create an environment where the client can come and and talk freely about thoughts and feelings and emotional difficulties without being judged or feel as though they're being criticized and without having to fear the possible impact that these, uh, these expressions may have on the other person. And I think this is what makes the difference between talking to a professional in comparison to talking to a friend, for example. Um, and it's just the idea that you know we can we have this space where we can revisit a difficulty over and over again without feeling as though we're burden burdening the other person. At Private Therapy Clinic, I work with a range of different presentations and psychological difficulties. Most commonly are presentations relating to anxiety and depression, and that can be. Uh, presentations such as social anxiety, health anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, but also people who are struggling with low mood and feeling a little bit depressed and that could also range on a spectrum of severity from being quite mild to being quite severely impeding on an individual's functioning. I think that regardless of what presentation that someone is bringing to therapy, it's really important to really understand the unique experience of these difficulties rather than maybe attaching a label to them. And I think ultimately that's what I'm concerned with, to really understand what your unique psychological difficulties are like and get to the bottom of these so that you can move forward in life and with less pain and more happiness. I think it's part of life to have psychological difficulties. I think none of us are consistently free from pain and emotional suffering. It's kind of like the yin and yang of life. In order to experience the light, we need to sometimes encounter the darkness as well. I think though, sometimes our psychological difficulties may exceed our joy and our, or our happiness. And that's the time in which therapy can step in and make some really powerful and useful change in your life where we can maybe understand what is the nature of our psychological difficulties so that we can begin to make some valuable changes in our life and move forward.